Hey guys, it's Miko from ML Sound Lab, and this is Amped Triple Rev G. Let's hear it in the mix. Sounds pretty awesome, right? Okay, let's go through the features. This is Amped Triple Rev G, and if you're not familiar with these amplifiers, this is the big brother, the 150 watt version of this amplifier. Rev G sort of tells you more about the era from where it's from, so all the big albums made with these kinds of amplifiers from the new metal era, Linkin Park, Limp Bizkit, everything from that era was essentially done on a Rev G, so you can probably even tell Wes Borland is selling his Rev G right now. So this is the correct version of amplifier to use. Um, there are earlier revisions and they all sound sort of different. The earlier you go, the more it starts to sound like a Soldano SLO, because that's essentially what it's originally cloned from. And um, the settings you see here are the ones that I actually used for that song, so I just used the default setting. And that is the sound you get. Pretty awesome. Now let's go through all the amp features quickly. We have a tuner that is extremely precise. Um, it tells you the truth and uh, doesn't lie to you that you're in tune when you're not. Uh, the pedal board is shared between the amp plugins, so these same effects you'll find on the latest uh, releases we've done. Uh, you have a very a transparent kind of a noise gate that doesn't cut your signal in a very unnatural way. Instead, it lowers the noise floor of your signal. Then we have a compressor that is sort of an uh, 1176 type one knob compressor. Then we have a drive pedal that's sort of a screamer type pedal. And then we have a chorus pedal, an analog delay and a reverb. And um, with those effects you can get all sorts of versatility that I can show off later on. You have all the five modes that are included on the real amplifier. So you have the red channel with the modern and vintage mode. You have the orange channel with the modern and vintage mode. And then you have the green channel that is sort of a cleaner sound. Um, the cabinet section is one of the most awesome things about this plugin. You have five different Mega 4x12 cabinets in here. So, uh, tons of versatility in here. For example, you can use the traditional or one of the earliest um, Mega cabinets that I have here. Mega Gens is the cabinet that was used on Periphery 3. So, you can use that cabinet if you want to. Uh, then, we have a green back in that Mega Gens cabinet. Uh, then we have the Mega Oversize, which you may know is my number one cabinet. That's the one that started everything for me personally. That is the one. You even have that one in here. Um, you can choose from four different mics and you can blend two of these together. So for example, you could actually blend uh, the Periphery 3 cabinets with a greenback cabinet. And then you can even place the microphones and get different sorts of sounds going and blend these two microphones together. Uh, the tonal possibilities are just insane. Uh, then you have MIDI control, so you can actually control this plugin with uh, a MIDI pedal or just MIDI commands if you want to. Okay, let's have a listen to the sound. This is the default preset. <laughs>
So that is the riff from the song you heard earlier. But I also wanted to demonstrate the tightness of this amplifier. So if you are familiar with these amplifiers, many times you'll hear that they have a boomy low end that is not tight at all. That is because the later versions really sound that way, they really do. While these earlier versions are definitely tighter. Just have a listen. <laughs> And that's not a boosted sound, that is the raw sound of the amplifier. Obviously if you boost it, you can get even tighter uh, sounds, but you know, I'm not a huge fan of that personally. This is the Gentifier preset. Just want to show you what happens when you boost this amplifier. So I'm boosting it with the drive pedal, nothing else from here. And when you do that, you can actually crank the bass all the way up. You're still going to be super tight. So let's have a listen to this sound then. So yes, it's very, very much the sound of 2023 as far as metal goes. Okay, let's jump to the red vintage mode and this is the punk rock preset. Once again, this amplifier was known for being used for all those awesome punk records while when people use the modern versions of this amplifier, they don't really get what's happening there. So this is a much more better sound for that tone. Let's have a listen. <laughs> Sounds like Sum 41, right? Sounds exactly like Sum 41. Now, while the Orange Modern channel really is not known for being uh, the channel to use on these amplifiers, for me personally, it's the best sounding one. And the very first preset is called New Metal. I'm not sure what it is, but I think this channel is actually better. Orange Modern sounds better than the Red Modern. Just have a listen to this. It just has that sound and I know for many people that is the holy grail sound of sort of this amplifier and new metal and all that. It has that sound in it, but I would say it's on the orange modern channel, so try it out. And then we have the orange vintage and um, let's try to preset called nothing but rock. <laughs> So I would say that is the classic alternative rock guitar tone in this channel. So all of these channels really, they have a purpose. It's almost like having a different amplifier. They all have a different kind of a sound that this amplifier is known for. It's not just that everyone used that one channel and nothing else on this amplifier. Last but not least, we have the green clean channel and this is the clean channel of the amplifier and because it is 150 watts it has more headroom so it's more clean than on most of these amplifiers let's have a listen <laughs> And as with pretty much all the amped plugins right now, 
with the pedal board you can do some awesome things. So we're using this preset called Beautiful Sustain and we're using uh, the reverb to get sort of this swell thing going and with this you get kind of this awesome ambient sound. Let's have a listen to the sound. So yes, I hope I did an okay job kind of showing you what it's all about. Obviously the best thing for you to do is get the free trial. So try it for free and um, if you really like it, we have an intro deal going on right now. Now is the best time to get it. Thank you so much for watching the video and go check out all the other demos that other people have done. They all sound amazing. See you later and I've been Miko from Elmo Sound Lab. Subscribe and bye bye.